Here is basically costume pieces that power up your characters. Yeah. Every time you play this game, you're going to get dropped new gear. You can suit up your characters in that gear. It does things like it can power up your offensive power, your defensive power. Mm -hmm. It could strengthen your special abilities or your health. You know, every time you play, you're getting new gear. And because you make the choices, over time, you're basically customizing your versions of these characters. It's your Superman, your Batman. It's your versions of all of the DC superheroes and villains that are in this game. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into a couple of fights here and take a look at how the game works. And as we go, I'll explain a little bit more about the gear system and how it plays into the, the rest of the game. Okay. So first fight here, these two behemoths. I don't know how much they can hear the game sound, but they can jack that up because that's a big part of this game. Yeah, if we can get the game sound going louder, that would be fantastic, guys. So, like I said, you know, this is a battle of the gods. All there of the is. characters have custom moves, unique move sets and abilities based on DC lore. Yep. So the first thing I want to do is actually walk through one of our new characters. That's Gorilla Grodd. I was reading he about is, him this morning. He is a hyper-intelligent ape. Yeah. So you're going to see his, his move set is going to combine these primal, brutal, up-close moves with what he has actually a telekinetic power. Right. So, you know, what I always like to say, he's not only going to be up in your face, <laughs> but Gorilla Grodd is going to knock you to the ground, and Gorilla Grodd is going to eat your face. <laughs> I absolutely love this. He's a vicious, brutal, giant gorilla, but he can also take a step back and use his telekinesis. He's got this special intellect and telekinetic power. He can take control of his opponent, make them beat themselves up. He can levitate, do ground pounds, explode the air around him. He actually can combine his brains and his brawn. You can see he's doing super punishing moves. Yeah. Batman, of course, is Batman. You know, he's not going to stand back idly. As you can see, we brought back environment interaction. Yep. Huge part of the game, huge part of the fighting. Characters can use the environment around them in a numerous ways. They can use it as a weapon. They got this great bounce mechanic, can set up combos. There's stuff scattered through every environment that they can make use of. This bad man's gonna jump up and throw this drone down. Also making a return are multi-stage environments, and they come with these awesome transitions, which I'll just let you watch. Very clever. So we're on the upper level of Gotham City now. This is our Gotham environment. You see a whole new slew of interactables that they can use. You see that the different characters use them in different ways. Batman jumps off him, he's more acrobatic. Grodd, much more of a power character. I can read your thoughts. Then you know what's coming. What you're witnessing here is the return of the Clash. Yeah. This is our, this is our combo breaker mechanic, where characters are actually waging their super meter on success. I think Batman here is going to take us right back downstairs. Another awesome transition. So, a very well-timed parry. Batman actually takes the first fight. Batman wins. Now this is where the gear comes in. So we're looking at this awesome victory screen. This is what we mean when we say every battle defines you. You're going to see at the end of every match, both characters are actually receiving new gear. Okay. So you see new gauntlets for both characters. You'll see the Batarang Barrage. That's a new move, actually, that's dropped as part of the gear system that, okay. that Batman can now use. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they can go ahead and gear up directly from that screen, get right into the next fight, which they've done. They both have new gauntlets. Not a major change, but I want to stress, this is like day one. This is right out of the box, your first fight. You got your first new piece of gear. So this is a constant system. Like I said, every single time you play, you're going to get an another drop. And so over time, your character is going to look dramatically different, something more like this. So very dramatic difference. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are totally leveled up, geared out versions of these characters. They can do more damage. They can absorb more damage. They have new moves in their arsenal. So it's really about making these uh, characters you know, look the way you want them to look, but also play the way that you want them to play. You're, you're fine-tuning your style of play by choosing which gear to equip the characters with. So you can see there's a great uh, level of strategy here where not only are you know, you're powering up your character, but you're also defending against what your opponent might do as well. And of course, 
We're not the Realm Studios, so you know we're gonna go over the top sometimes, right? Yeah, of course. Well, let's take a look. Super moves. It's the most punishing offensive move in the game. Yep. See, Karad's got his as well, not to be outdone. So very cool. He actually ended the match on a super. Karad takes the next fight. I love these victory streets. I think they're just they're like dripping with DC goodness. They're, they're so cool. And again, you're going to see both characters. It's constant. They're going to be getting new gear. And like before, you can see in the UI there, you can actually equip that right then and there, go right into the next match. We're going to actually take a step back. We're going to go into our custom gear screen. It's our, our inventory manager. Okay, cool. You know, we're dropping thousands of pieces of gear for every character. Right. So we have this, you know, obviously we're going to need a, a system to manage that. You can see there's five different slots that you can impact. Head, torso, arms, legs. They're, every character has a custom accessory or weapon slot, like Aquaman's trident. There's okay. in dozens of versions of that in the game. You can also unlock color palettes. So, you know, the idea being, you know, you get into this game a few weeks down the line, every character's gonna look totally unique. You know, you're not gonna see one Aquaman that looks like another. Every, every player is gonna have that opportunity to really make this game their own. Metropolis. So, going into another match, like I said, Superman and the Red Lantern, Atrocitus. Justice requires order. Looks more like oppression. So, this is the Metropolis environment. We're in the Asa Club's bar. And I uh, want to take a second again to introduce one of our new characters. That's Red Lantern Atrocitus. Yep. They're very different than the Green Lanterns. They're driven by rage mm -hmm. and anger. So, you're going to see that reflected in a lot of his moves. He can actually summon blood. You'll see him do it from the ground. He breathes fire. He can create this blood NATO, which is a lot of fun. Uh, not only that, he can also summon help from another Red Lantern, the evil cat Dexstar. <laughs> That's a fan favorite. I love Dexstar. <laughs> can shoot projectiles. He can help you with uh, creating this blood shield for defense. He can attack on command. So him and Atrocitus together are a pretty good match for Superman. So they're, they're going to get into it. And this is fun for MK fans. Take a look at the guy at the bar. Much like Blanche from MKX. He can be used in this fight. And again, the environments are a huge part of this game. So we're going to see Superman once again take Atrocitus upstairs. Got another clash here. You're just like me. I'm nothing like you. It's a neat mechanic because instead of just doing a regular combo breaker, the defender was successful there, you're actually regenerating health. So there is a really good wager system. You see Dexstar comes in for the assist and uh, we get to see Atrocitus, Atrocitus spew rage all over Metropolis now with his victory. <laughs> and again, just like every other fight, you're going to see both characters get new gear. Now this is a cool one, you see you got the Kryptonian crown for Superman, check out the Curse of Rage, look in the box, you see 3% damage to thrown environmental interactions. So it's not just about buffing your character's base stats yeah. and making them a better fighter, you're actually imp uh, impacting all of the fighting mechanics throughout the game. Sure. So if environmental attacks are a big part of how you fight, this is a great piece of gear for you. And once again, we're sort of at you know day one level of adding that fresh piece of gear. But once again, over time, it's going to be much more dramatic. So you can see here, you got Batman in the, or I'm sorry, uh, Superman in the black and silver with the Red Sun logo Sun, on his yeah, chest. That's, that's awesome. Super cool. I mean, Atrocitus just looks, looks like a demon. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's cool, actually, when he brings Dexstar back in the fight, check him out, because he actually geared up as well. <laughs> he's he's all horned out and thorny, and yeah, he's, he's looking like a total badass. It's great. So you can see as they fight, not only are they interacting with the environment, but damage is being done all around them. Really want to get that feel. And then of course we got crazy new supers, like this right here. A 
that's just beautiful. I mean, we're, we're really trying to make this as epic and cinematic as possible. You know, we're really trying to go over the top with this game. This is my favorite transition in the game right now, just the sound effects. <laughs> if you've ever fallen down on the train, you know it's very realistic. So we're back in the bar, and that, of course, is where this happens. This is insanity. Together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. And he's okay. Somehow Superman just gets right back up. He's rammed by a bull, but he still takes the fight. That's our final fight. Superman takes this one. And you'll notice that even though these are fully max level, totally geared up versions of these characters, yeah. we're still dropping gear. 